we're still looking through the 5.3 part of trigonometry. And part of the reason why is because trigonometry is one of the biggest components of what you're going to look at next year in year 11, for the two unit course. And so that's why there's so many, if you remember those links that I was drawing across from the current course to your next year's course, one of the reasons why trigonometry has so many lines coming out of it is because there's so much 5.3 stuff in year 10 trigonometry, okay? So that's why we're still there. Now today, I'm gonna to show you a big, crazy new idea, okay? It's a big sort of new category you need to get into your head. And so for that reason, rather than jump in and just give you the category, good morning. Rather than just jump in and give you the category, I wanna give you first a bit of justification for why have new categories, good morning. Um, why introduce new language when the language you've been using is just fine, right? Um, you will see that there are places we can go once we unlock this new language that are pretty powerful. But first we need to experience the difficulty in going without that language. So, you've got your calculator there. Now, we're going to do a bit, of, um, a bit of collaborative work on the board today. I'm just looking at how many people there are in the room. Um, we're going to graph something in a second and I'm going to ask all of you to help me. Right? Good morning. And you've got your calculator there. Okay. I'm about to come around and give you a number. Okay, it's going to be a number between 0 and 90. I'm going to give all of you a different one. Okay, and then once you have your number, uh, it's going to be one of these angles down here. You're going to pop it up on the board at the corresponding value over here. So let me give you an example. Remember, we're reviewing, right? Think back to last Thursday. We looked at exact values. We looked at three particular sizes of angle, right? three sizes of angle that when you put in sine or cos or pan, you don't just get some, you know, some decimal garbage at the end. You get something precise, okay? Often they had square root numbers in them. Does anyone remember what were the three angles? Or does anyone remember one of the angles? Yeah. 30, 45, 60. 30, 45, 60. Very good. Okay. Now, remember I said for sine and cos and tan, we get these special values here, okay? Just this morning to begin with, we're just going to think about sine, right? So let's think about sine this, sine this, and sine this. We're just reviewing. Think back, do you remember what each of these are equal to? They're just nice, easy fractions. What's the first one? Someone hands up, who remembers it? Okay, give us the first one. Half. Very good, a half. In fact, you might remember, this is the first one I started with. We popped it into our calculator, and then we made a triangle out of this. that had a one, and a two, and a root three, okay? Which sort of gives you this. Sine 60 is the other one. Does anyone remember, someone else hasn't said anything yet? What's sine 60 degrees? It's got a square root in it. Remember? Yeah, Devisha. Root 3 on 2. Very good. Root 3 on 2. Okay, fantastic. I'll give you the last one for free. 45 degree angle. If you're in a right angle triangle, it's isosceles, right? It's isosceles. So if you go back to that triangle, this is the ratio you were going to get. Okay? Now we want to graph these guys, right? It's great having these because they're exact. But exact values, when they're in thirds, are a bit harder to put on here. I have no square roots on any of my axes, okay? So let's express each of these as decimals. Each of them as decimals, right? 1 over 2, that's an easy decimal. That's 0 0.5, okay? But on your calculator now, can you give me, oh, maybe two decimal places will do it. 1 over 2, can someone calculate that for me? What are we getting? 0 0.0. No, 0, 0 0.7. 0. 0. 707, seven. so I guess that would be zero, one. seven one, wouldn't it? Okay, ish, right? Who's got root three on two? Someone got root three on two? Sine, 60 degrees, that'll give you root three on two, or you can just put root three on two directly zero in. Point eight seven. Zero point eight seven. Okay, can I get some agreement on that? Who else has got the same value? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay, excellent, thank you, right. Now, we're going to put these three on here first so you can see what I mean by plotting this graph. Just like you've plotted straight lines and uh, parabolas and all that kind of thing. Okay? So 30 degrees, that's down here. Okay, 30 degrees. And if I come all the way up to, you can see I've got my increments measured in every tenth of a unit. Right? So I'm going to go 30 degrees up to 0 0.5 should be about there. Right? Do you see that? Okay. So I'm going to place on here, that's a point right there that's on the graph of putting together all these values, right? Sine 45, that's about 0 0.71. So here's 45 between 40 and 50. So I'm going to come all the way up to about there. Yeah, that's a bit above 0 0.7. So just make sure I do that. 
properly. And my last one was 60 degrees, about 0 0.87. There's 60. 0 0.87 is going to be somewhere around there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to string together a whole bunch of dots. You've all got a calculator, or if you need one, you can borrow one. I'm going to give you all a different angle, and we're going to, um, we're going to fill this thing in. I want you to come up. As soon as you've got, I'm going to give you an angle. As soon as you punch it into your calculator and get a value out, I want you to come and grab a whiteboard <coughs> marker and put it on the board. Okay, ready? Here we go. I gave you a series of angles, right? And what you provided me for a corresponding value of x, that was the angle, or theta if you like, you gave me sine of that angle. So I've got, you're used, to, um, you're used to marking your vertical axis as y, and there's no problem with that. But our particular y in this case was sine of x. That's what you chucked into your calculator. Okay? Now, let's notice a couple of things here. Number one, I didn't give anyone, even though that's where my axis starts and ends, I didn't give anyone 0 degrees or 90 degrees. Okay? Now think about this carefully. Why do you think I avoided those? I didn't have to, but I purposely avoided them. Any suggestions as to why? They would just equal one. Okay, now I'm gonna get some just some very plain, simple answers for them. That's the first thing. There are answers for them, okay? But secondly, and I want you to think about this really carefully, right? Um, don't write down answer because it's it's actually very tricky to word. If I ask you this question, what is sine? Like you've got an angle, you know what angles are. What is sine? Like you can pop it in your calculator, it gives you a number. But what is that number? What would your answer be? You've done a fair bit of trick. You've been working with sine, cos, and tan for a little while. What is it? How would you define it? I'll give you a clue. There's my clue. Anyone want to advance on that? Can we give you another clue? There's another clue. I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more. You've seen this guy before, right? Okay, I've got to stop giving you clues now because the next thing I'm going to say is the answer, right? What is sine? Sine is, um, sine is a ratio, isn't it? It's something over something, namely opposite on hypotenuse, right? Opposite on hypotenuse. It's a ratio. It's, it's a comparison between how big this is versus how big this is. Right? That's what sine is. Okay? In a right angled triangle, that's why I have this 90 degrees here. Okay? You can't have a hypotenuse if you don't have a right angled triangle. Okay? Now I wonder if you can answer my original question. Zero degrees, nine degrees. I left them off. Why? Oh, because there's a right angle there, it's 90 degrees. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, this is a 90 degree angle over here, right? Because it's a right angle triangle. Kind so if true. I just, if I draw this um, this 90 degree angle first, and then I think about, okay, what, what might X be? Okay, there's a whole bunch of different sizes of angles. Now, if I throw in 90 degrees there, right? Let me draw my X now, okay? There he is, 90 degrees. Now, I don't care how long you make that side, you're not going to get a triangle out of this, are you? Okay? 90 degrees and 90 degrees can't coexist in the one triangle because you've already hit the angle sum, right? You, you don't have any more degrees left to make your last angle. Okay? Can you see why I couldn't do zero either? Because yeah. right? if I said, okay, well, I'll make this angle, right? it's zero degrees, which is here's one side and then here's, here's the other side okay? because there's no, there's no distance between those two sides. That's why there's no angle there. Okay? This is not a triangle either. Zero degrees, 90 degrees, they break our definition of sine. Okay? This is where sine started, opposite and hypotenuse, right? But that's kind of where it ends, right? I mean, you've got a whole bunch of angles here, dots. It's not too bad, right? Let's just join this up, by the way. I asked you to copy this down at the beginning. You can see there's a, a rough shape to this, right? It's going to look something like this. I'll do my best. Something like that. Do you see that? Um, even though, you know, we're not all exact because I haven't given you a grid or anything like that, you can clearly see it's not a straight line, right? It's definitely not a straight line. But at the same time, it's, I mean, it's, in, it's going up. It's going up all the way. And then up here, it kind of slows down. Do you notice that? Okay. Now, we need a better definition, okay? <laughs> That's my signal that we need a better definition, okay? <laughs> better than opposite on hypotenuse like because that, yeah. this, this definition won't cut it. 
as it turns out, you can go reach for your calculator, and it's not too hard. You can probably guess before you put sine, sine zero. Go ahead, put sine zero. You can guess what it's going to be, can't you? Right? It's going to be zero. And you can guess what sine of 90 degrees is when you have a look at this. It's going up to particularly these people who had like high angles, 82, 84, 85, 88, all those kinds of angles. You're going right up to one, okay? And that's where it stops. Now, see how the line goes? Clearly, this kind of implies it should keep going. It should do something else, right? Over in this direction. And over here as well, it shouldn't just stop. It should do something else. But it can't do anything else in this triangle. So we need a better definition. 